Hi guys, this is Michelle and I am back with my nine month surgiversary video. I do want to apologize that it has been a little while since I put a video out. I had decided that I was going to start doing videos every other week. And so I actually was supposed to do one last week, but then I realized that I was only one more week away from my nine month surgiversary video. So I decided, ah, I'll just wait and I will do this nine month surgiversary video. And then after this, I will be doing a video every other week, an update video every other week. Um, I do plan to do more meal prep videos and more what I eat in the day videos. I'm actually working on one right now with what I'm eating today and also what I ate yesterday, which was my day off. So um, I will be putting those out soon. And um, I also have some review videos coming up that I also need to finish up and post those. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to go every other week. The other reason is, is just to give me more time with, you know, doing my life stuff. Um, I, it feels a little freeing to do it every other week versus doing it every week. So that's, that's where I've been. <laughs> so let me tell you guys the numbers. Um, so I had to do a six month supervised diet and that started in May of 2016. On the day that I started my diet, I was 286.8 pounds. Then I had surgery on January 4th of 2017 at Banner Gateway Medical Center here in Gilbert, Arizona. My surgeon was Dr. Albert Chin. On the day of surgery, I was 251.8 pounds. Today, I am 195.8 pounds. So that is a 56-pound loss since surgery. It is a 91 pound loss since the start of the whole process and it's 124 pounds lost since my all-time highest weight. Yay! I'm very, I'm getting closer and closer to 100 pounds down from the start of this whole process. So that, that's going to be really great milestone. Now something that I haven't done in quite a few months, I can't believe how long it's been, is that I haven't gone over my numbers, the, my weight loss for each month. And so I'm going to do that right now. And it was kind of eye-opening for me, and I'll tell you when I read these off, when I'm done with this, I'll tell you my thoughts on these numbers. Okay, so month one, I lost 16.2 pounds. Month two, 6.6 .6 pounds. Month 3, 5.4 pounds. Month 4, 10.8 pounds. Month 5, 2.8 pounds. Month 6, 5 pounds. Month 7, 6 pounds. Month 8, 0 0.2 pounds. And month 9, 3.6 pounds. So, I had a loss every single month. I barely squeaked out a loss uh, during month eight with the 0.2 pounds, but it still was a loss. So no gains overall, so I'm very happy with that. And you know, as I look over the numbers and I think back through this whole process, you know, I probably, well, I'm pretty positive that I could have lost more weight during this nine month process if I had tried a little bit harder. But the thing is, is that I'm actually very happy with how I have, how I've handled this whole thing. I mean, I really have not been stressed out about my weight. I've been stressed out about other life things like my job, but not my weight. And I like that. I like that a lot. And I think part of that is because from the very beginning, I said that even from the beginning, I was going to focus more on the mental aspects of this, which I have been doing. Um, I have been doing this more in moderation. I haven't been extremely strict with myself. Um, I've traveled several times. So I've gone to Portland. I've gone to Vegas twice. And I've eaten somewhat in moderation during those trips. Uh, I mean, I, I was nowhere near being on plan, I'll say that. 
but I didn't go crazy. And I think, you know, that's the way that I want to live and eat for the rest of my life. I want to travel and eat in moderation and not eat crazy. I want my everyday life to not be strict, but to try to try to be somewhat on track most of the time and not stress too much about the scale, but keep my eye on it to make sure that it is consistently going down. And that is something, that's, that's what I've been doing. You know, I haven't done any liquid days this whole nine months. That's actually, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I actually made a promise to myself that I was not going to do that. Um, after I went through my very strict two-week liquid diet, and only lost eight pounds and I was eating like 500 calories a day for two weeks, please. After that, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not doing any liquid diets or anything like that anymore. And so every time that I have gotten off track, I just got right back on track with my plan, nothing strict, nothing too crazy. And so last month, I showed you my calendar that I've started. So let me show you what's going on with that. So this is September, which is all finished here. And let me talk to you about the good and the bad of this calendar. Okay, let's see, what should I start off first? The good or the bad? Let's do the bad first. So the way that this calendar had started to enable some bad, um, what's the word, bad behavior. There were a couple of, couple of days where, okay, so one of the things on this calendar, for one of my stars, I need to do 50 net carbs, okay? And that scratching is um, Lunesta scratching up my couch back there, so that's what you hear. Um, 50 net carbs is my goal, okay? So I had like a couple of days where kind of by accident or not planning very well, I went over by like two or three carbs. So it's like 53 net carbs, 54 net carbs. And you know, I only get a star if it's 50 net carbs. So I did that like twice in a row and I was already like kind of annoyed. You're like, oh, man, I'm so close. I, sh I didn't even, I didn't really cheat. It was just that the food that I had prepared um, for lunch and for dinner just ended up being a little bit too high in carbs. So the third day, by the time the third day came around, I was already, you know, a little annoyed about the fact that um, it was going to be really hard for me to get that 50 net carbs in because of the food that I had cooked for that week. And just by chance, my weight loss, my WLS pal that I have from Instagram had sent me a bag of Dove chocolates. I don't think that she watches my videos because I don't know who it is, but I'm, she probably doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> I love Dove chocolate. It was a big bag of Dove chocolate. I mean, do you send an alcoholic alcohol? I mean, I do have to admit. So actually I was able to ignore the bag for a week. It didn't even, it didn't bother me at all. But then after those couple of days of being so close to my carbs and still not being able to give myself a star, when it was about to happen again on the third day, I was like, well, I'm not gonna reach my carbs anyway, so I might as well have some candy. It's like, if I don't get a star for being 53 carbs, then what difference does it make if I'm like 65 carbs? So, for a couple of days, I did have that attitude, and I have to admit that I don't think that I, I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for the fact that I was trying to be a little strict and stay on track with this calendar. So that, it helped, so in that way, it influenced bad behavior. But more commonly, it has been influencing good behavior. Like for example, there have been days that um, maybe it was a day that I wasn't even going to work out. Like I remember there was this one day, it wasn't my workout day, and I was getting ready to go to bed, 
and I hadn't hit my steps for the day. I was like off by like 1,500 steps. If it had been lower, then I would have just walked around until I got the steps. But to me, 1,500 steps, that's a lot of walking around in circles. I was just going to go to bed and say, forget it. But then it was like, man, I want a star. And if I work out, I'll get a star for the workout, plus I'll get a star for reaching my steps. And I only had a, one star so far that day. I either had gotten my carbs in or had gotten my water in. And I was like, I want three stars. So instead of going to bed, I got on my treadmill, did a workout, got my steps in, and got my two stars. And so I have been focusing a lot on being motivated by getting the stars in. And it's really working. Um... Now, the one thing that I didn't do is, if you remember my goals that I had up here, the special gold star for the cleaning. <laughs> I never actually even did that even once. I mean, I did regular house cleaning, but I didn't even do one day of deep cleaning in September. So I'm really going to have to do that in October. However, I'm no longer having a star for that. So for October, I have all the same stars that I had for September, but then my gold star this month is going to be for meditation. I had started to get out of the habit of doing my meditation, and it really is so helpful for me for my mood and for helping me to survive work, and I really wanted to make sure that I'm getting back on track with that, and so that's why I decided to turn that into a star. And so far this month, look at that, I had five stars, five stars, four stars, and then here we are today, um, a gold star because I already did my meditation this morning. But yeah, I'm off, I'm on a roll so far this month, and I don't know, I'm really, I'm motivated to get these stars, I really am. So this calendar is working because I want stars, and... If I don't get a star, it's like at least it's, I feel like it's just helping reinforce good behavior overall. I am having, I have better behavior, staying on track better without feeling like I'm being too strict. And I don't feel like I'm being deprived, but I do feel like it is helping my weight, um, which is the, the whole reason that I decided to do this is because my one year surgery is coming up fast and I'm nowhere near uh, my goal weight, my goal weight by my surgeon, which is 169. I'm nowhere near that and I probably will not make that by, um, my appointment is on January 8th. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to make it and I'm not going to do any crazy things to try to make it but I could be doing a better job overall. And so without putting too much pressure on myself, without stressing myself out, I'm just gonna try to be a little bit more consistent. So that is what I'm doing with this calendar. Okay, so I don't want this video to be way too long because I do have a dressing room video that I'm going to maybe attach to this. Um, I've been using YouTube Editor to edit my videos, and they just took YouTube Editor away. So I'm now trying to get used to a different editor, and I'm not even sure yet that I know how to attach my dressing room video to this video. And then I also have some before and after pictures that I need to add into this video. So I'm not sure if you're actually going to see that, or if there's going to be just a short little dressing room clip as a separate video after this one.